some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video was sent to me by a subscriber who wishes to remain anonymous. Thank you very much for the uh, lead on this video. Anyway, we find ourselves in South Carolina with the soft hard known as Marcus. And he manages to talk his way into a shiny new pair of silver bracelets in under 10 minutes. So now, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's your name, man? Marcus. Marcus? Yes, sir. There's Deputy Coconut. What's up, bro? It's nice to meet you, sir. Yes, sir. How's your night going so far? Better, better than until now. Oh, well, besides all this. No, I got you. What, what is the problem? He's the one that stopped you, sir. Okay. He, he was talking about a, a private plate. Yeah, yeah. The plate on the back of the car is illegal. It's not illegal. Okay. He's it's fine. a, it's a, it's a private plate. Yeah, leave it to a lead paint chip eating sovtard to think that this is perfectly legal. And according to South Carolina law, they issue you the plates. You don't buy them off some two-bit con man off of YouTube or somewhere else off the internet. And trust me, I ran into a YouTube channel the day that I intend to do a video on where a guy is actually selling these plates on his channel. I will definitely have to do that one during the weekend where I have time to actually do a full video on it because it is a 30 minute video and he spews out a lot of bullshit. Okay. As an American national, okay. I'm a Pennsylvania national. Marcus, yes, sir. do me a favor. Yes, sir. Dude, I'm going to ask you once and then I'm going to tell you. Okay. I know he doesn't want to be on this thing. He's on my camera. Yeah. Okay. Well, dude, okay. stop it. You're an yeah. asshole. You don't want to do it. What for? for. Like, because I'm telling you to do it. Don't okay. Do like that. Why, you ask, you mental midget? Well, because Pennsylvania versus Mims uh, says that it is perfectly reasonable for the officer to ask you to leave your vehicle. What is the. Uh, I don't know. You don't need to look for anything down there. I need you to unlock the door. So right, I'm, I'm trying to grab my keys again. Oh, lock the door. Okay, thank you. Okay. Do not put it in the Okay. I'm not. Okay. All right, so this is on a threat dressing question on the record. You are detained Okay. for a traffic stop. Unlock the vehicle now. Okay. So this is a... Unlock the car. Okay. I am. I break the window. Sir, Marcus, you see, you uh, look, listen. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Okay, you're going in handcuffs. Do you want to put the phone down gently? You can point it out. Record this, record this. Just record it, that's all. That's it. It's on you. Yeah, it's on you. Turn it the other way. No, yeah, turn, turn it the other way or flip the camera. I'll just put it down. I'll put it down. Thank you, man. This is a fucking tough fuck this is For what crime? For what crime, sir? What crime, he asks. Well, uh, I don't think you even have the mental capacity to even understand what the statutes of your state are. But for everybody else who watches my channel, here's the statute that he violated once again. Oh yeah, and here's another statute from South Carolina that will uh, shed a little bit more light on it. Well, I hope that sheds some light on it, but I doubt you'll learn from it anyway, considering that there's so much air between those ears that I don't think anything will stick in there. Except for maybe the cobwebs and dust blowing around up there acting as a placeholder for your brain. For what crime, sir? Okay. I'm detained. Yes, you are. Hey, boss, can I just get you all this when they're done all the way? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Little damn problem. Just because okay. you got that. All right, that's the end of the video right there, folks. There was a search of the vehicle immediately after the uh, suspect was arrested. He had a uh, nightstick on his person. There was a uh, rather large knife in the vehicle and a 
bottle of Captain Morgan underneath the driver's seat, and the passenger decided to invoke his right to an attorney. Well now, hopefully one day the soft heart will learn that he's not exempt from the law, that he has to obey it just like everybody else in the country. But in reality, I think that his brain waved bye-bye to him a long time ago, and he'll never be able to figure it out. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.